Hey guys, Jim here. Time to get to another acquisition from Blade Show 2014. One that uh, I'm actually very lucky I got my hands on because I didn't know these were there. They came and went as soon as uh, they were made available. As far as I understand it, only 80 of these are going to be made and not all 80 went to the Blade Show. So by the time I finally got around to the Microtech table, or excuse me, Microtech booth, Everything was gone. I mean, they were literally cleaned out. There was nothing left except for like like one or two UTX-70s or some small out the front that was just sitting in the case. Um, so I uh, was actually sitting in the pit, hanging out, having a couple of drinks, having some dinner. And uh, a dealer came down and all of us at the table were able to grab one of these. So I did have to pay more than the initial price that Tony was charging, but I do feel it was still worth it. Um, we're going to talk about the price in a few minutes. Let's get into what the knife is first. We'll look at the packaging. As it says right there, this is the Anax, or is it Annex? I don't know. Stonewash Titanium Handle. Uh, there's a little more to that, though. We'll see that in a moment. And as it's clearly listed right here, it is a Marfion Custom. Not just a regular Microtech, but it is a Marfion Custom. First thing I want to do is show you guys the packaging, because the packaging, very, very impressive. I made a video last year sometime about the importance of using good quality packaging to allow somebody to really feel that they're getting something, you know, worth the money that they're spending. This packaging is the perfect example of that. You actually feel special for owning this. I own Marfion Customs that are a lot more money than this that did not get packaging anywhere near this nice. So it's nice to see something different. So we get the magnetic lid opened up and inside is going to be your zippered pouch. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's take a look at this first. You're going to get a metal plate inside which makes me think that uh, maybe Tony just made friends with somebody that owns a water jet because a lot of water jetted stuff uh, used in this so here is your uh, cool cutout metal plate tells you everything that you gotta know certificate of authenticity the NX uh, drop point stone wash 6AL4V titanium with lanyard attachment that's what they're calling that uh, <laughs> date of birth June 5th, 2014, serial number 55, and Tony did not sign it. It has his name, but uh, area to sign, he did not sign it. So, not sure if anybody got signed versions or not, but I know I certainly did not. So, let's get that put back away. So, that's, uh, that's pretty damn cool. Then you get to the zippered pouch. You've got uh, Tony's signature here, and then you've got this dagger. That's Velcroed right in that you can actually use to Velcro onto any of your Velcro patch gear that you have. So I thought that was also a really interesting way to package things. And the zipper pull is a flame anodized titanium dagger as well. How cool is that? I don't know if I can get to focus on there. We'll try. There we go. That's a pretty bitchin' little, uh, little freebie addition right there, I think. So now we get this opened up. I'll reach inside first and you're going to be getting a little tool now don't get too excited like I did when I first got this I'm like oh finally there's gonna be a tool for the hardware no it's not I'm not really sure why they included it but so we pull on this steel cable to pull the knife out of the really nice lined packaging the tool is actually going to be for the little rat tail here that has the titanium flame anodized spike and actually does have quite a bit of a point to it as well and that, which is why you're not actually going to leave this on the knife and carry it as a lanyard because it will stick you all the time so all I do is I just simply twist and it pulls right out so why they felt the need to give you a tool for it, I'm not entirely certain. I'm glad they did. It's a nice little option, but uh, there's no real need for it. You will not get a wrench for the hardware. Because really, the only thing that you could do on this is turn the pivot anyway. Because this is not your typical everyday knife. That's right. This is a beautiful full titanium integral. Something that we've not seen come out of uh, Microtech or Marfion. 
did an amazing job with keeping that cool, high-tech tool look that uh, Tony is so well known for. The only sprinkling of color on here will be the Marfion dagger right back there where it shows patent pending. And then the lightly anodized blued blade stop. That's it. Here's your custom pivot. And here is the custom hardware to hold the blade stop in place. Now we get the blade open and we get a nice full look at it. So it is a hand ground blade by Tony and there's going to be a few different options for it. This is the stone wash that has kind of a light mirror over it. There's also, from what I heard, I did not see, but from what I heard, there was a Damascus version and there was a full mirror polish variation as well. Now, again, I didn't see those, so I don't know what really is available. But what I can say is, this thing is built really, really well. Do I wish it were a flipper? Yes. But, it is nice and smooth, little tight on the pivot, doesn't have, you know, a quick flashy action. You can flick it, but it's not really meant for that. Then you get to this right back here, the custom pocket clip. Beautifully sculpted titanium pocket clip, very functional. And it has this huge ceramic ball, huge ceramic detent ball. And this was actually borrowed from Todd Begg Designs in his bodega. And Tony was very clear to credit Todd Begg uh, with the creation of that look and that functionality. And he did a really great job replicating it. I, th I think uh, it really goes well with this design. It's very modern, very futuristic, as a matter of fact, which is what the whole knife really is. Uh, as we're seeing, uh, custom from all Microtechs and uh, customs is the steel lock bar insert. That seems to be something that's going to stay in all of their frame lock models and subframe lock models. Very good idea. And this really is, again, another subframe lock because you'll notice the, the hardware here attaching the lock into the frame. Inside, we'll have all the information we saw on our certificate. Uh, Anthony Marfione, and there's the birth date, and I can't quite see in there. Not quite enough light for me to see. You'll see it better than I will on my little thing here. Oh, there we go. Uh, model name and the serial number. Great work on the blade, and it is stupid sharp, as really with all of the Marfione customs. Anytime you get a hand ground blade from Tony, you're going to get a stupid, stupid sharp knife. Take a look at the blade centering, and it looks pretty good. It's not 100% dead center, and you'll see that it is a truly hand-ground blade because there is a very slight inconsistency right there at the tip. Now, it doesn't bother me at all, and it really does, in my opinion, show much better that it is a true hand-ground blade. So you have that left hand to right hand slight inconsistency. Very long channel cut into here. It's not really a fuller groove. This is going to be more of a finger, or I should say a thumb slide. And he's basically fashioned it to go all the way out to the edge. And it gives you a really nice, again, aggressive look throughout the entire blade. Really, really wonderfully done. This is something that, you know, normally I probably wouldn't have purchased, but... Seeing as how it's the first integral, seeing as how the packaging was so over the top and the price, in my opinion, was fair. Now, when you go to, if you had bought it directly from uh, Tony or bought it directly from the Microtech booth, it would have been 550 at the show. I don't know what their retail is. When I bought it, I paid 750 so I had to pay that dealer a premium of $200 to be able to get it. And honestly, I feel for what I got very, very fair. If I were to sell this right now, I would probably tack on another $200 onto it. And I don't think very many people would squawk at that either. It's one of those knives that you're not going to see a lot of them. We've seen limited run Microtechs. We've certainly seen Marfion Customs that have come and gone that people really regret not getting. And they pay a super premium down the road to get. Overall, it's slim. It's very, very lightweight for the size of knife that it is. And it's, it's you know what, it looks good, but it's actually very useful. You've got some aggressive jimping back here. 
into the frame as well as up the thumb ramp. It's got a nice stylized thumb ramp. It's going to be very, very useful. You can choke up on it with the slight choil that you have up here. And then you have the finer jimping along the spine of the crowned blade. Yes, they did crown the spine, which I found to be very interesting as well. It's another added touch that really, for the, the price point that he's trying to hit, I can't believe that was done. Here's the, the fact of the matter. I'm going to lower my camera back down. I only raised it up because I had the packaging out. Here's the thing. I honestly don't know how he made money on this. When you factor in the titanium keychain pull, they took the time to, to cut it out and then to flame anodize it, the really expensive pouch, uh, the water jetted dagger that's on there, the stitching that's been done, uh, the extra tool, the outer box, the certificate of authenticity that was water jetted, and then this guy right here, the quote-unquote lanyard. To do all of this, and in an integral, in a full custom, hand ground, I don't see how they've made money doing this. I just don't see it. Go out there and look. Look for a custom knife maker's integral. I mean, guys like Peter Recenti come to mind immediately. Well, even Peter just raised his prices, but go back to his prices from last year, you know, at around $1,200 for a full-size knife like a Snafu, uh, and that $900 range for the smaller models. I, I, don't see, I don't see how he made money doing this. Maybe he's uh, considering it a loss leader. Maybe he's breaking into a new arena for himself and for his brand in general. And this was a way to get some out in the hands of the public and get them excited. I don't know. All I know is, holy shit, it is a great, great deal. You know, by way of comparison, and it is a dramatically different knife, but by way of comparison, uh, here's my other Marfion custom. This is my DOC with the... Uh, bronze coating and the mirror polishing, hand nightmare ground, 30,000 layer carbon fiber. This was 11 or 11.50 directly to Tony at the New York show. And they're going for 16, 1700 right now, pretty much everywhere. This was 550. I just, I don't see it. I don't see how he was able to do it. I'm really glad that he did. It's just really hard to fathom. Look at this. Look how this was built. Fantastic quality. All the way around. Great design work. They didn't go cheap. He could have just left this completely plain. Just, you know, being an integral was enough. But instead took the time to put the divots in there to give it some visual pop. Taking the time to color the exposed lock bar. I'm sorry, the exposed blade stop. Custom pivot, custom hardware. That amazing pocket clip. See, guys, again, anytime you're spending over four or five hundred bucks, you shouldn't be getting a cheap spring clip. You should be getting a nice custom clip like this, and, and this is a great example of that. Now, one of the things that may not have been readily apparent is this also wasn't just plain surface ground titanium. There is actually a palm swell and contour built in. So when you're holding it, your fingers just drop right in place and it fills in the hand wonderfully. It also gives it an interesting look when the light hits it just right and the shadows drop across that little hump right there. This was not an inexpensive knife to build. Yet, I feel it was, a, it was a tremendous value. So if you ever come across one of these and you were thinking, well, should I buy one? Is it worth the money? I'll be honest with you. Truthfully, for forgetting that we know how much it cost direct, forgetting that we know it was five fifty, if anybody handed you a Marfion Custom hand ground knife in a full titanium integral, and said he's only going to make 80 of these, period. Would you really scoff at $1,200? No. I mean, you're going to pay that much and more for any other variation of knife that he's done in a custom grind. Why not in, their first, in his first integral? 
I think it's incredible. It makes it a little bit more pocketable than many of the other folders. Because you got to realize, with Microtech, generally the folders are big, they're thick. I'm not going to say they're heavy, because for the most part, they're going to be done in carbon fiber. But, you know, there are full titanium versions, even the DOC. And they're big, they're fat, they're heavy. This is slimmer. It's lighter weight. It's easier to carry. It's not really going to be a gentleman's knife. I mean, this is just under a four-inch blade here. So, and as a matter of fact, let's give you the size comparison. Not that everybody has a custom DOC, but there are plenty of production DOCs out there. So there you go. That's a three and three quarter inch blade. This is actually coming in just a hair smaller, and he's fitting more of the blade into the handle, so the overall length is a lot more compact as well. How the hell can you go wrong? Maybe you've been waiting for that more simplistic type of knife, that more Sebenza style knife, to finally put your money into Marfion. Now, again, this is not a Sebenza style. It's very, very different, but it has similar characteristics. It's all titanium, and it's got a very similar blade profile. It's going to be more of a useful knife. You've got much more belly to the blade than some of their more strictly tactical knives. It's comfortable, it's easy to carry, great, great feel all the way around. I would have not minded having some jimping back here, to be honest with you, but all the way around, I think this is a solid belt knife, I think it's a winner, and I think it's one that many people are going to look back on in the coming years and go, holy shit, you remember that knife? Boy, I wish I would have got one of those, uh, because the honest to God truth was, I decided to buy this. In the initial second that it was offered, and we knew the dealer was going to come down with his bag full of like 10 or 12 of these knives, my initial intent was to buy this for my show to be able to sell it. And then once I saw it, I was like, shit, I, I kind of want to have this for myself. And now knowing how you know limited they're going to be, well, why not? Why not keep one for yourself every now and then? Is it going to stay in my collection forever? Hell, I don't know. I can't read the future, but uh, it's, it's certainly intriguing excuse me, intriguing enough to me right now that I want to carry it, that I want to start using it, and I want to start having some fun with it. So I'm going to leave it with that. See what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. And if you had a chance to handle one of these at the Blade Show or if you bought one yourself, uh, give me some feedback. Tell me what you think of it. Uh, pros, cons, all that kind of good stuff. Because I haven't had a chance to carry this one yet. I've literally only taken it out for a couple of pictures. And I wanted to get the video done so I could finally put all the packaging away instead of leaving it laying around junking up my house. And uh, probably going to start carrying this bad boy tomorrow. Again, without this thing on there. Because that's just dangerous. Okay. And with that, I'm out of here. And I'll see you guys on the next video.